stage. We're gonna put your put you right back up against there again. For this projection, to get a lateral, we take the patient's hand and we put the back of their hand up, bend your elbow, and put the back of your hand up against your back for me. Just kind of flatten it. There you go. Now I need to turn your body. I want your arm all the way up against this IR, but relax your shoulder down. Bring your hand down a little bit further. And then turn your, angle your body like this so that we can get your, keep on, right, turn your whole chest. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, one or two, I can switch out with it. Well, here's okay. So if this were the situation and the patient were not able to get her shoulder relaxed, what could we do? We could do an AP. No, this is AP. Sorry, we're okay. gonna do a PA. So we're gonna flip you around. Keep your hand on your stomach like this, because you think about that. If a patient comes into the department and they're they've injured their arm, right? They're most likely going to be holding it like this or like this, right? So we're going to pretend like she's come in and she's hurt. She's got her hand on her stomach. Turn you around and let me flip arms just so it's easier for her to see with the video there. So we're going to keep her hand on her stomach and we're going to turn her body at an angle and put her shoulder all the way up against there. Step you over. Keep her humerus on that center chamber. Relax your shoulder just a little bit. I've got to have a 90 degree angle at the elbow, okay, to keep those epicondyles perpendicular to one another. Put a right, nope, left mark. No, we're right arm now. This is going to be right arm because we switched and we're doing PA. So coming through, collimation. Got light on both sides of the humerus coming in. Got her shoulder joint and her elbow joint. You can do lateral upright. You can do them PA or AP. A lot of techs prefer to do them this way. They like them better. Just it's up to you. Whatever your patient can do and whatever you can get your part closest to the IR. All right. So let's stop there and let's switch. Um, I'll get a different person and we'll do an AP lateral. No, AP. It is a lateral, y'all, but you're having your patient's body in either a PA or an AP. And so actually we call that either a lateral medial lateral or a mediolateral. Lead, la, media lateral, <laughs> lateral, okay? Why is that? If you're in anatomical position, right? So if you take your hand and you put it like this, this, let me, let me do this. I brought this for a reason. All right, let me show you this. So I'm in anatomical position, right? I'm gonna put this sticker on the lateral aspect of my humerus, see it? Watch what happens when I turn my hand and put my hand over my stomach. Now my lateral is here, right? Mm -hmm. So if I were to shoot that image with like this, that's why they call that a lateral medial projection because you're entering the lateral aspect, you're exiting the medial. If I turn around and do it this way, then that's going to be a what? Medial lateral projection. Does that make sense? Yeah. Instead of me sitting here saying, I'm telling you AP and PA because that's what you're used to from chest, but in actuality, because of anatomical position, if the patient is turned with their chest facing the IR, that's actually coming medial lateral with your central ray. Does it help to have that to see kind of what happened there? Okay. All right, now I want to um, 